What I love about the State Library is that it's probably the largest collection of words in Victoria, the written word. But wouldn't it be amazing if we could transmit words to each other, these stories, these ideas, without speaking, without writing them down, just by using our minds. So what I want you to do, Hilary, is to open up this magazine to any page, random page, hopefully it has a lot of words on it. And I'm going to stand over here so I can't see what you're looking at. And I want you to choose uh, a nice long word, a nice long interesting word. But it can be a scientific word if you want, this is a science magazine. Uh, have you got a word in mind? I do. Okay, I want you to start thinking of this word in your mind. Don't change your mind. Think of the f first letter. Yeah. Now, I'm going to show everyone in the audience what I've got. It's the letter P. Is it the letter P? The no. first letter? No. Okay, okay. It's, it's not an exact science. It's not an exact science. <laughs> okay, so now think of the last letter. Yeah. Think of a couple of letters in the middle. Okay. Now think of the whole word. Yeah. Now imagine a thread between my mind and your mind, like a piece of string between your throat and my throat. Yep. Think of the whole word in your mind. Yep. Okay. All right. I like Hillary for the first time. Tell everybody what that. This this magazine has I don't know how many words in it. Probably thousands. But out of all those words, you've chosen one word. What is that word? Sportsmanship. <laughs> Uh, what have I written on this piece of paper? You've written a bunch of letters that are miraculously spell sportsmanship. And it seems like it could be quite amazing, right? It seems like it's amazing, but seriously, it's only one word. It's only one word that we're transmitting by our imagination. Yeah. But what if we could transmit an entire book? So, Hilary, I want you to think of a book. I want you to think of your favourite book from childhood. I want you to keep this in your mind. I want you to visualise the title in your head. Now, you haven't told anyone this book. Um, you have no idea what's about to happen. Now, also, I want to ask you to think about this. Visualise this book. And this, this is your favourite book from childhood. Is there any reason why this is your favourite? Without giving away what the book is, don't give away what it is. It was, it's my favourite because I can remember it, because choosing your favourite book is like having 400 babies and trying to choose your favourite baby, but I now read it to my kids, so that's good. So it's quite meaningful to you? Yeah. Okay, I want you to hold your hand out flat because I have a little bookmark here. The reason I ask you to think of a children's book is because when we're a kid, when we're a children, our imagination is at its most vivid and powerful. So I want you to imagine this book. I want you to imagine the cover of this book. Yeah. I want you to imagine if this cover of this, your favourite childhood book could be on the back of this bookmark. This is increasingly freaking me out, but yeah. I'm, Wouldn't I'm that be amazing it. if that could become real? It would be really creepy. <laughs> All right. What was the name of your favourite book? It was Rosie's Walk. Slowly turn over the bookmark and tell everybody what you see. The inside of my brain. Oh my God. I see the end of my certainty in rational thought. I see a picture of the cover of Rosie's Walk with the 40th anniversary sticker on it. <laughs> Thank you very much, Shirley. That is the power of imagination. That is the power of Morris Long. I'm buying tickets to this show, Melbourne International Comedy Festival, coming up at the website. Thank you.